Hi, we are Aymara and Gordon, and this is our channel, Ways of the World. We like to slow travel because it helps us uncover the layers of a place, while we immerse in its culture and connect with the locals. At the beginning of 2022, we spent 70 days exploring this beautiful part of Mexico. Welcome to the Yucatan Peninsula. The Palo we did an entire loop around the Yucatan using only buses and fares. Our journey started in Cozuma, and it was love at first sight. After over two weeks on this paradise island, we crossed to the mainland for a quick stop in Cancun. We left the most popular place in the peninsula for the Yucatan's hidden gem a remote fishing village called Punta Allen. From there, we had a long and complicated travel day to Bacalar and its famous seven-color lagoon. Heaven. Then we crossed the peninsula to start exploring the region's colonial cities. Our first stop was Campeche, also known as the Rainbow City. We had unforgettable day trips to secluded Mayan ruins and swam in our very own cenote surrounded by the Yucatan jungle. Next, we headed inland to Mérida, the largest city in the Yucatan. We explored the massive local markets and beat the heat by jumping in more cenotes than we could count. Our tour of the colonial cities ended in Valladolid, the happy little city full of colonial charm and delicious foods. Our 70-day adventure ended with Isla Hobosh. We didn't have the goodbye we were hoping for, but we explain why later in the video. Okay, now let's go to Cozumel. Bienvenidos. A Mexico. A Mexico. A Mexico lindo. Cozumel. I think we're gonna move to Cozumel. <laughs> I think so too. It's official. <laughs> you heard it here first. The ways of the world is over. <laughs> Learning how to drive a scooter we've got a couple things we'll run through for first. our adventures One, today. We've got a key on the bottom, so ignition just like a car. Great start. <laughs> We made it to the east side of Cozumel Island. As you can tell, it's super windy and wavy on this side of the island. I think that's usually the case, so most people don't come here. It's much different than the west side, which is kind of like sheltered, and that's why there's tons of good snorkeling, and most people visiting stay on the west side. But it's still very beautiful out here. Like, if you want a beach to yourself, you should come here. Just like, you'll have to deal with the waves. And also, there's not a ton of, like, restaurants. I think there's three. They're all supposed to be pretty cool, but there isn't a ton of development on this side. And there's like barely any traffic, like one car passes every five minutes, so it's super chill. We're sure if you do come to Cozumel that you're going to find a beach that you'll absolutely love. Yes, I mean, honestly, if you're coming here on vacation, the whole island is set up to be enjoyed. All of the beaches, wherever you go, you're going to have restaurants, you're going to have facilities, everything you need to enjoy a perfect beach day. Yeah, and that includes like the rugged east side of the island where like the waves are crazy to this tranquil, beautiful, peaceful western side of the island. On the east side of the island, there's basically three bars that you can go to. The Rasta Bar. 
mezcalitos and welcome to Miami. I know it doesn't look like much, but this is exactly the type of place that we like and why we're here and this was the best recommendation. I'm not kidding, I've had a lot of mojitos in my life. This is the best mojito I've ever had. And let's look at this view. I feel like like I'm in a fish tank, don't you? Yeah, the water like, is so clear. It's, it's so clear, incredible. the coral is so healthy, there's so many fish. And this is exactly why we came here. We love being in the water, we love nature, we love the ocean. And that's why we picked Cozumel for two weeks. And I mean, today is only the first day that we're uh, snorkeling. And it's not disappointing. <laughs> Good morning, today is day one out of three dreamy scuba diving days here in Cozumel and it's sunny, it's 80 degrees and it's a perfect day to go underwater. I cannot believe how lucky we are to be diving here for the next three days. Cozumel is famous for being one of the best diving spots in the entire world. So once that we approach our dive sites, we can start to gear on, right? So Conejo and me, we are going to help you to take the tank out from that spot and put it right here over the bench. The way how we are going to jump in is doing a back crawl entrance. We are going to stay on the surface around 30 seconds, a minute, or all that we need to just get relaxed or start our descent, right? Happy! 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 We just had another perfect day on the water. I cannot get over how beautiful the diving is here. And it's just like so relaxing under there. And it's kind of like floating along and we went through like a two minute, it's called like a swim through where you go in like a coral cave. And even that is just like so chill. You just look around and everything's just so alive. Today was beautiful. We saw an octopus and like giant parrotfish. I think it's called like the midnight parrotfish. Mora eel, another turtle. We just keep seeing everything. So, perfect day. Cozumel then, is the best. Oh, the best. I don't know why we're leaving, why anyone would leave, but. We're about to hop into one of these ferries. We, I'm a little bit emotional, honestly. Cozumel has been amazing. We spent two and a half weeks here. We fell in love with the island, with scuba diving, with the people. It felt like home, it felt like a vacation, but we do have a travel series to shoot, 75 days in the Yucatan Peninsula, so we have to go and explore the rest of the Yucatan Peninsula. 
Aeropuerto, aeropuerto, 200 pesos, nos quedan lugares. So Auto is like a, a real company. They're supposed to be a good bus service like all around the Yucatan. And they can take you to Cancun Airport for cheaper than the taxi and also downtown Cancun, which is where we are going. Welcome to Punta Allen, a secluded fishing village that has managed to remain hidden from most tourist readers. This town is great for what it doesn't have. There are no paved roads, stop signs or ATMs. It's a place to disconnect, enjoy long morning coffees and be one with nature. This was by far the most remote place we visited during our 70 days in the Yucatan Peninsula. Rarely as a traveler you get to experience places like this, where life moves slow and there's time for everything. Cheers! Salud! You might be wondering what we are doing in Punta Ala. I also wonder I'm how not a, we also end up here. <laughs> wonders how we end up in these places. Let me explain it to you. So, I'm usually the person that does research about our destinations and sometimes I read about a place and I'm like, that is the most wonderful place in the entire world and that usually happens when it's super remote hard to get to and kind of rustic let's say rustic is a good word <laughs> so this is 40 kilometers south of tulum and we drove through tulum and it is madness yeah but the road the 40 kilometer road takes four to five hours to get to by car so you can get here but it's just it is described as the worst world. road in the world So that is what we do as ways of the world, find remote places, undiscovered. Off the path, we have the luxury. To show them to you. We are very lucky that we get to do that. We used to hang around town pretty late. I spent the week thinking about our next day. It was easier than so much easier than oh, like the time I picked you up outside of school. Said, screw my dad, I make my own rules. It was easier than so much easier than take me back to the take me back to those easy summer days when we stopped at nothing, babe. Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby. They couldn't take us, they couldn't change us, they couldn't catch us if they tried. This place has been super charming. Like it's awesome that a place like this still exists in 2022. Yeah. Where, like the power shuts out for like hours every day. Like, you know everyone's name after like I don't know a couple days in town. People, people were so genuine, and I feel that we were so lucky that we got to experience a slower piece of life with our crazy lifestyle. Right? We don't get yeah. to disconnect. Like internet is terrible. Like we couldn't work. We didn't do much, but we, we didn't do much. But like we were able to think and just like hang out, have coffees for breakfast for like an hour, just like listening yeah. to the waves, all like the little things that are that are really like, cool, that are awesome in life, yeah. and that we didn't know we missed. Like we didn't know we needed this. Good morning. It is unfortunately time for us to leave Punta Allen. We are a little bit sad, but we're also super excited because we get to continue exploring the Yucatan Peninsula. We're heading to a city called Bacalar today, and it's a, we don't know much about it, so that has us really excited. And it wasn't easy to get here. It's not going to be easy to get out, but we'll show you every step of the journey. We're going to start with coffee with our host, and then we have a boat to catch. This 
all happening very smoothly today. The taxi was already waiting for us when we got, got dropped off by the boat. The boat was super peaceful. It's like a 45 minute drive, just like cruising through the mangroves. But now we're on the world's worst road. <laughs> so we're switching it up from peaceful to knocking our heads <laughs> against the side. <laughs> we're on the way to the bus station and, and then off to Bacalar. Over an hour. This takes over an hour, yeah. It's so bumpy. I mean, I'm sure you can see on the <laughs> We are on the road to Bacalar. Anytime we tell locals that we're coming here, they get super excited, their eyes light up, like, oh, it's absolutely stunning there. And it's famous for having like a beautiful lagoon called La Laguna de los Siete Colores, like the seven color lagoon. So it's supposed to be very pretty, but it's also one of the Yucatan's like most like, up and coming, kind of like trendy destinations. So we don't know exactly what to expect, but I'm excited. It should be beautiful, so. I guess we're a little bit on the outskirts. We made it to Bacalar. Ready? Let's go. We have to go across the lagoon to get to where we need to go. If we make it. If we make it. Time to paddle. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful sunrise. Oh my goodness. It is already so pretty. We are literally the only ones on the water right now. It's so peaceful out here. See, sunrises are nice. Exploring the lagoon. That is the sun coming out. Intense that last 40 minutes. Yeah. Still pretty though? Mm hmm. I can't get it off of the street. Wanna hear something funny? What? They have found crocodiles in this lagoon before. That's not funny. Figure I'd save it till the end. <laughs> <laughs> that is so mean. Well, we didn't see them. It's rare. It's rare to see crocodiles, but they have seen them. Okay. I just. I don't know. Crocodile size. Aren't you happy you didn't know? No, now I'm gonna like Google everything before we go. I broke your trust. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I hate my gun. <laughs> You sure? Are you ready to try the best thing in life? I'm ready to try it. I love mango. Usually I wouldn't put tahini on it. I might have loves it with tahini. I'm more of a mango purist. But we've been waiting days to try this. And it looks, the mango looks super ripe. The mango is very good. Cheers. 
I hope you enjoy exploring Bacalar with us today. This place is beautiful. As you can see, I, it's not hard to understand why we fell in love with it. We cannot say this enough. Please come here before it gets too busy. Good morning. We have a long travel day ahead of us today. We are crossing the entire Yucatan Peninsula from Bacalar to Campeche. And in order to do that, we have to take two buses, I think smaller buses. So I don't know how comfortable it's going to be. The first one is from here to a city called Chetumal, which is like 45 minutes. And the second one is from Chetumal to Campeche, which is like six or seven hours. So let's see how that goes. Campeche. Sí. Sí. Okay. We just made a stop, which was my bathroom stop. I've been holding it for like two hours. They didn't have toilet paper. Came back to the boss to get toilet paper because I didn't have it. And the guy said that I don't have time to go now. So who knows? I might be on myself. And I was gonna get a banana too. I'm hungry. She and her water bottle. Uh, I don't like this monster. How's it going? Halfway there. You guys are not going to believe how beautiful Campeche is. We cannot wait to show you. I cannot believe I'm saying this, guys, but we are already halfway through our 70 day trip throughout the Yucatan Peninsula. That's Isn't crazy. that crazy? That's crazy. That's Completely insane. Up. We have seen so many beautiful places here in Mexico, and right now we're in a city called Campeche, and today we're heading on our first day trip outside of the city. Yeah, so we're about to grab a taxi to go to the airport to get a rental car, and then we're driving two hours south into the jungle of the Yucatan Peninsula. It should be awesome. It should be a day full of adventures. But a first, lot of adventures. We have to get on a taxi to go to the airport to pick up our car. There's a group of howler monkeys right in front of us. Oh my god. I hope we can get them on the big camera. This is crazy. These are our first monkeys. Like five in Mexico. minutes in. Yeah, five minutes in. Oh, they're big. This is so cool. Oh, that looks like the male. His face is huge. That's the alpha. It's terrifying. Okay. Está fino la mente, ¿verdad? Okay. Sí. Puedo agarrar la cámara así, no. Te puedes soltar, no pasa nada, okay? Okay. No okay. Nada. Para nada. Okay. Okay. Y ya en mi cabeza que me quedo ahí sentadita, ¿sí? Sí, sí, sentadita. No tengo que hacer nada. Nada. Okay. Pues, mi compañero le va a frenar que la. Relaja los brazos, no haga fuerza. Okay. Eso es. La agarro aquí. Ya. 
Okay. Have fun. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Sí, listo. Okay. ¿Voy sentado? Sí, sí, sí. Ok. 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 Oh, I'm not going to look down. I can't look down. Oh my God. We're like 300 feet in the air, flying over a cenote. Oh my God. I didn't love it. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I've been zip lining before and I had like a really nice time, but there's always like a jungle canopy below you. So there's like no depth perception, but this is just like over an abyss. And it, we're so high up, and I think I almost had a panic attack on the way back. I was like, "Really? What did it go wrong?" I was just like, I never looked down. I <laughs> neither time did I look down. Oh, I bored to see. And I, I still have like, uh, uh, if we ever go to New Zealand, and like I need to bungee jump, then that will be the last <laughs> video that we will ever film together. <laughs> because I will just, oh, my heart will explode on my chest. Mexico. <laughs> Look at this place. We have this whole cenote all to ourselves. This is crazy. This is awesome. You guys have to come here. You really, you really do. This place is unreal. I'm gonna jump in the water though. Yeah. Oh, I can't nice. wait. This is pretty magical. I don't know if it's just that I'm happy to be alive after zip lining. But everything just looks so great. The breeze feels nice and warm. The monkeys make me smile. I mean, how come we ended up with like having us and to ourselves? I'm, I'm just like, my mind is blown away right now. Swimming here, just listening to the birds. We just saw a cute little turtle. Like the top of the, how do you say? Like the cherry on top would be like if we started like seeing monkeys around us all of a sudden. But like this yeah. is so magical it's perfect I, we love campeche we love mexico the yucatan campeche miguel, miguel colorado miguel colorado definitely worth the trip to come here you have to come here it's all this place is unreal i cannot believe we have it all to ourselves. We have loved every single moment of being here in the city. And it's not just like the beautiful colors and the downtown. It's like everything about it. Like the day trips have been incredible. Yeah, like we saw beautiful cenotes. We went to incredible Mayan ruins, try delicious food. And the people here, the they people have here been, are amazing. Yeah, yeah, they're so nice. We can't wait to come back. We will be back. We hope you come here too. If you haven't watched our other Campeche videos, please go ahead and watch them. So you fall in love with this place and you also come and visit. Campeche is worth visiting. Definitely yeah. come here. Good 
morning guys welcome to the beautiful city of Merida this is the biggest city that we'll be visiting during our 70 day trip throughout the Yucatan Peninsula where one million people live here and it definitely feels that way it's loud and hectic and there's a lot of good energy and we are loving it here so far yeah Merida is one of Mexico's most famous colonial cities and it's filled with interesting history and colonial charms and there's beautiful mansions everywhere and all these beautiful parks but before we start exploring we're gonna head to the local market so we need to get some breakfast. Yes, we're hungry. So let's go. Like it's not only so much cheaper, but everything it looks so fresh, and everyone's like talking to you and asking you, "Oh, buy this! Oh, buy this is fifteen! This is ten! This is that!" So it seems like more of like a, an experience to do it here. <laughs> And dinner tonight, it's a traditional Mexican cantina. Cantinas are a little bit different because you enter with those like swinging doors and it's like mostly about drinking, but they do serve a little bit of food. But this one is especially famous for having great live music. It's been around for like a hundred years and it's famous in Merida. You can already hear like the music coming in. I didn't order a blue drink, but that's what I got. It's delicious still. And I didn't know it would be the size of my hand. <laughs> Cheers. Good morning everyone, we are back on the road again. We already picked up a car early this morning and we are heading to explore some cenotes. That's basically all we're doing today because it is beautiful here, but it is very hot. It's going to be 100 degrees today. So we thought that was the safest thing to do. Yeah, exactly. I can't wait for today. We've seen two cenotes so far during our entire time in the Yucatan, but today we're going to a place known as the Ring of Cenotes and it's based in a town called Omun. And the town itself has at least 20 that they know of, and we're gonna explore as many as we can. Yes, we can't wait to show you. Now even more after today. Awesome. 
guys. <laughs>
Gracias. There is already a lot of people here trying to do the same that we're doing, I guess. Malop Inta la Clechichanitza Bishabel Incaba Eduardo. Entonces vamos a conocer el motor más importante de Chichem, que es el Templo de Cuculcán, la serpiente emplumada, una de las siete maravillas del mundo. Behind me is the most famous temple in Chichen Itza. It's called Kukulkan, and it's actually not the biggest temple in the Mayan world. In fact, like not even close. But there's some things about it that are super interesting, like the acoustics are amazing. And even beyond the acoustics, like another reason why this is so amazing is like the different steps that lead up to the top of the temple. There's like four different sets that have 90 steps, which totals 360. And then they added like a small staircase at the very top that had five steps to total 365 steps, which of course represents the days of the year. So like the Mayan calendar, they already knew like the length of a year. So there's so many things that are just incredible about the Mayans and you learn all about it here in Chichen Itza. This is one of the coolest places in all of Chichen Itza. It's the biggest ball court in all of the Americas. And it's much different than all of the other sites that we've seen in the other sites that we've visited. Like the goals are much higher and everything's just way grander. It's super cool to see. And the reason it's different is because the Tomex, I think the, another indigenous group, they had a different way of playing the game. So instead of like scoring by hitting the ball the hip, they had like bats to like hit it through the, the circle. And that's why they had this like giant ball court. And also there's like a really crazy echo. Let's try and do it. So different teams would sit on the opposite sides, and like the team from Chichen Itza, they would never talk. They would never talk, never talk. And like the Chichen Itza team, they could like hear everything the other guys were saying. Yeah, they would spy on them. Another super cool thing that we learned is that, and this is true for like all Mayan cities, they were painted red. Like that was like a sacred color for the Mayans, and can you just like imagine this whole thing like painted yeah. like dark red? Like how cool. Is that final thoughts? I would say it like this. It's really cool and it's definitely worth getting a guide. Like there's so much information that you learn about mm -hmm. like the Maya is super interesting. But at the same time, it's also kind of expensive and it's not like the biggest or the best runes that we've seen. It is so true. it's kind of like we, a weird balance. Yes, it is a weird balance and don't get us wrong, like we understand why this place is important and significant and it is amazing. But we saw other ruins that were better, and we're visiting two other more in the next couple of days that mm -hmm. are a lot cheaper. There's and they're just lot. as close to like Cancun and like Valladolid and like other major sites that you can visit yeah. instead of Chichen Itza, and you have like a whole different type of vibe. Yeah, it's a different experience for sure. We share those videos. So I'm gonna link them here so you guys can check them out. And if this is a, I mean, if you want to see it, it is a world wonder, uh -huh. a wonder of the world, and it's worth it for sure. But there are other options that are a lot cheaper and they're also really cool. So if you can't afford it or you don't have time, don't feel that bad because there's other stuff. So last time you saw us, we were in Valladolid. Super excited to come to our last stop, a place called Isla Hobosh. We spent five nights here. We decided not to make a video about it just because unfortunately we didn't like it. 
Um, this is the first time that this happened during our travels and we wrote a blog post listing all the reasons why we didn't like it, everything that's wrong with this place unfortunately. It's linked in the description. But today is our last day in the Yucatan Peninsula basically, last travel day. We have a ferry to catch. <laughs> it wouldn't be a travel day in Mexico without back sweat. Even at 8.30 in the morning. The last good sweat. The last good sweat. How do you feel? The 70 days are over. We had a great time in Mexico, but I have to say, like it's not as sad as like when we left Turkey, because this time we have a destination, hopefully that we'll go to in the next two weeks. We have to go to Cancun. Our last, our last ride. One night only. Why? Because Cancun has the biggest airport in the Yucatan and we are leaving tomorrow. Yep, tomorrow we hop on a flight to Mexico City. We're going to be there for one week, but we're not going to make videos about it because, well, the series is about the Yucatan Peninsula and we're going to be with family. Yeah, so this is our very last actual travel day video from the Yucatan. It feels a little bit different than yeah. the last, last travel day that we had when we left yeah. Istanbul. Yes. Sad chai. This sucks. This is so sad. Why this is suck so much? It yeah, it's an unfortunate ending, I guess, that we didn't like our last destination and we can't like help help it like we Compare it to Turkey, you know, like how awesome it was, like our last stop there. The and grand finale in Istanbul. Yeah, so we didn't really have like a grand finale here. I guess next week will be that. It's just that you won't see it on video. It's like a different set than yeah. we were, you know, like a little bit disappointed, but it's fine. We still had a lot of fun. Like we spent, obviously that, that was just four days we spent. Yeah, it was a great 70 days. We saw yeah. so much. There's so much cool stuff in the Yeah, we, we got to explore. We discovered so many places. We hope you enjoy the videos. We hope you also discover amazing places to mm -hmm. visit here in the Yucatan Peninsula because it's beautiful here. It's, There's it, a lot more beyond Cancun and Tudum and Playa del Carmen. There's a lot of really beautiful spots. Mm -hmm. so. Cheers to you, Yucatan Peninsula. Thank you so much for the memories, for the beautiful Mayan ruins, for lovely people that were so welcoming. Thank you for the food. We're going to miss the food so much. We're going to miss Cochinita, Bibil. Yeah, we're going to miss it a lot. We had the time of our lives, like the beaches were beautiful, the underwater world here, the wildlife. We really enjoy our time here. We can't wait to come back. We can't wait to explore all our parts of Mexico too in the future. We'll keep you posted. We have a country in mind. We're going to say it because by the time you see this video, we're probably going to be there. And I don't know if we're, we can change our minds every four days. The next country for waste of the world is going to be Albania. Oh, you put it out there. Yep, I put it out there to the universe. I hope it happens. We decided on this last night. We can't wait to show it to you if we end up going there. It's beautiful. We're inside a five-story nuclear bunker built for Albania's former dictator. Mmm, 
told you. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to make this one brown. Sorry, dog. Dashi? Dashi. Prost. Danke. <laughs> Very good. Wow. We're oregano harvest. Amana is hidden on the side of the road. Oh, he was jealous. We hope you enjoyed this series. If you have any questions, we're also doing a Q&A about the Yucatan Peninsula, so leave them below. And yeah, for now, we're just going to enjoy drinks, dinner, churros probably. Yeah. Churros. Cheers to you, Yucatan. Thank you. Thank you for the memories. Bye. Is there a place with sun all year round? And pina coladas with pretty faces and sand on the ground.